Asus Zenfone 9, the underdog. Recently, Asus announced its latest smartphone, the Zenfone 9. This smartphone continues on Asus's latest quest to form small phones that aren't underpowered. The Zenfone 9 is smaller than the Zenfone 8, while boasting a much bigger battery, bigger cameras, and larger thermal material which is kind of impressive to mention the smallest amount. So will this underdog get the recognition it needs, or would it not do very much good in this market? Well, let's try to find out. Hello everyone and welcome back to Dynamic Product Review. Today we are going to talk about the Asus flagship phone Zenfone 9. Are you ready to know about it? Without delaying any further, let's get started. And before we do that, please hit on the bell icon so you don't miss any new updates from our channel. Now that the Asus Zenfone 9 is out and official, it's time to inform you about everything you would like to understand about this new phone. So let's begin. Asus says that the Zenfone 9 is going to be available in Europe first, and it's already available. It'll come to other countries later this summer, including the US. There's no set launch date for the Zenfone 9 within the United States just yet. There's no flip model for the Zenfone 9 this year, there's just one model, but it is available in three different RAM and storage configurations that has 8GB slash 128GB, 8GB slash 256GB, and 16GB slash 256GB. So, how much will it cost? Asus has not announced pricing for the US yet, but we do know that it will cost about 799 euros in Europe. That converts to about 813 US dollars. So we can expect it to begin at around 799 to 899 dollars when it does come to the US. Given Asus's relatively small market share within the US, it wouldn't be too surprising to determine whether just one model comes to the US rather than all three variants. In previous years, Asus has not made their phones available on carriers, so it'll likely only be available as an unlocked smartphone, but it does have bands for T-Mobile and a few for AT&T and Verizon. While Asus has not announced where you'll be able to buy the Zenfone 9 within the US, we expect it to be available on Amazon and maybe Best Buy. We are going to, after all, update this once we get more information on the US launch. In which colors will it be arriving? Asus is offering the Zenfone 9 in four colors this year. That includes Midnight Black, Moonlight White, Starry Blue, and Sunset Red. Far more colors than we had with the Zenfone 8. Now in the US, those colors could also be more limited. Again, because of the little market share that Asus has within the United States. Now we'll talk about the design of the Asus Zenfone 9. Last year, Asus stressed the number of research and development that they did for the Zenfone 8 to form it that little and not be a terrible experience. This year, Asus is improving on the model. It made the Zenfone 9 smaller while making the battery bigger, cameras bigger, and therefore the thermal materials additionally larger. So how are they doing it? Well, an enormous help here was made in making the rear and sides flat. With the Zenfone 8, the rear and sides were curved, which uses up plenty of space. But making it flat, like an iPhone 12 or iPhone 13, allows it to possess more room for things like the battery. Just to place things into perspective, the SoC is about 10% larger, the cameras are 40% larger, and also the battery is 7.5% larger, while the physical size of the Zenfone 9 is about 2% less compared to last year. That's quite impressive. And that's all while still being waterproof, rated at IP68. So what's new with the Zen UI 9? Well, there are some things on top of what Android 12 brings us, so let's re-examine it all. The first one is battery care features. The battery is pretty essential for everybody, and Asus wants to form it last as long as possible and making charging less of a hassle. So they've introduced scheduled charging. With sleep well options like an auto end time, don't disturb in airplane mode, scheduled charging keeps the battery at a lower percentage overnight and does trickle charges to 100% rather than trickling while it's at 100%. This may keep your battery in tip top shape. It can also detect battery draining apps and it'll report them to the user to seek out the reason behind the increased battery usage. Unlike another phone, it'll not automatically kill those apps. The new one handed mode. One-handed mode isn't anything new, but Asus has improved thereon in Zen UI 9. There's now a replacement navigation feature that can limit the peak of the screen to the user's preferred height, and this may easily be triggered by swiping down from the underside region of the screen. The next thing we like is better UI customizations. 
Also included in Zen UI 9 are a few new UI customizations. There's Material U, which is an Android 12 feature. This may allow you to color code your accents to the wallpaper on your home screen. And it does work even as it does in Android 12 on a Pixel smartphone. Asus also moved the animation speed settings into the display section of the settings, so you mustn't open developer options any further. And this is often mostly a placebo thing to form your phone and make it seem faster, but some people adore this selection. Finally, Asus has also added the choice to not automatically switch between light and dark mode by sunrise and sunset or schedule. It's also possible now to force all apps to run in dark mode and apply a dark tint to the wallpaper. This is additionally to make the display kinder to your eyes. These are just some of the various things that Asus has added in the Zen UI 9. Out of the box, the Zenfone 9 runs on Android 12 with Zen UI 9, which is their latest Android skin for the Zen Phone. However, it's not even released by Google, so we don't know if Android 13 will be a part of it, but it'll be a minimum of some more months before we know. Google slated to release the stable build of Android 13 in either August or September. So what about the cameras? Before we get that, I want to make sure I request of you, please, if you've not already done so, subscribe to our channel. Now, Asus is using Sony sensors for all the cameras on the Zenfone 9. They're upgraded sensors from last year, though surprisingly on paper, it's sort of a downgrade from the Zenfone 8. Seeing because the Zenfone 8 had a 64 megapixel sensor and now the Zenfone 9 is barely 50 megapixels. The aperture also fell a small amount, but these are much larger sensors which should end in better pictures. These sensors are about 40% larger compared to the Zenfone 8, allowing it to herald more light and produce better shots in low light and even with no light. So what about the features within the camera for the Zenfone 9? Well, for the first time, Asus is letting users edit the camera modes. So you'll set it to point out your most used modes and conceal the others behind the More section. Asus is additionally introducing a Light Trail mode. This is often in beta on the Zenfone 9 and won't be coming to the Zenfone 8, unfortunately. Users can use a manual shutter or a preset shutter time to capture moving scenes like traffic trails, light graffiti, waterfalls, and more. Since it's in beta, it likely won't be amazing, but Asus goes to be continuously updating it. Among some other minor things that are new within the camera app for the Asus Zenfone 9, if you want a smaller phone in the end that doesn't compromise on flagship power features, then yes, buy the Zenfone 9. But within the US, things are a touch tougher, since it'll only work on T-Mobile and partially on AT&T, not to mention the very fact that unlocked phones aren't always a thing in the US. Asus is the last manufacturer supplying you with basically everything you would like in a very smart phone. That features a headphone jack, a charger within the box, and a smaller footprint that doesn't compromise on power or battery life. It's a shame that Asus has a tiny low market share because this phone is certainly solid on paper. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please click on the like button and share it with all your friends and family. And if you have any further questions or comments for us, as always, share them with us in the comment space below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. And we'll catch up in the next one. Thanks for watching.